Now at the end of all, this was insan, the human being. So every human being is supposed to think about himself. But the Quraysh, the Kuffar have come to a point where it is not expected that when the insan is spoken about, they'll think about themselves. They've become so thick in their heads that it has to be spelled out for them. So there's another migration in the surah. Allah says, Kalla balla tukrimun al yateen. He doesn't say, Kalla balla yukrimul yateen. Not the human being. All of you, none of you, none of you will honor the orphan. What do you think I should honor? Allah is basically saying, not at all. You don't deserve to be honored. Now, kalla, you don't deserve to be honored at all. You're not being humiliated or honored by any of this. And why should you be honored anyway? Never should you be honored. Why not? You people don't respect and you don't honor the orphan. The reason they should be humiliated is they don't honor the orphan. Now, please understand something about this idea of orphan. First of all, most of us, if not all of us, do not know the orphans in our community. We don't know them. We don't know where they live. We don't know what their problems are. We don't know what their financial troubles are. We don't know what they, when their parents passed and whether they're a single mom that's barely making enough to pay the rent, etc. We don't know. And that's one of the big crimes of the Muslim community that we don't know. We're supposed to know. The second thing here is, as far as the yatim in the Jahidi society, in ancient Arab society, what yatim meant isn't just orphan. Understand, why is yatim being highlighted here? Because it's someone who doesn't have any support, no family, Nobody to care for them, nobody to ask if they get sick, nobody to ask if they ate or didn't eat. It's the ones that don't have any backing, none whatsoever. These are the people that are yatim. Now in the olden days, even at least the widow would go back to her family in, in Jahiliyyah. But in the Muslim community, what happens with the widow? She gets, she gets ostracized from every side, right? The orphan, the one who just, just takes shahada. His parents may be alive, but he turns into a, he or she turns into an orphan overnight. They disown him. They don't want to look at his face. Like they, you know, I've heard horrible stories about brothers and sisters who take shahada and how their families deal with them. And the kinds of sufferings they have to go through. So they come to the masjid, we all give them a hug. We say, Assalamu alaikum. We hand them a pile of books, which they don't, you know, know where to keep or even start, begin to reading, right? And then we're done with our obligation to them. SubhanAllah. But now here Allah speaks about the crime of the Quraysh. You don't honor the, the, the help. Now Allah didn't even talk about them helping the yatim, helping the orphan. He said you don't honor him. Now it's easy to honor the one above you. It's easy to honor and respect your boss, your teacher, the imam of the masjid, right? the elder. These are people easily honored. It's tough to honor someone below you. You know, you don't think about honoring the guy that's, you know, came to do plumbing at your house or mows the lawn. Or, you know, these are low, below, you don't have to honor them. And actually, it's a sickness in Muslim society. People who do manual labor, they're looked at as less than human. Right? And we are the nation that says, you know, we're the people, we have the revelation that says all human beings are equal. Right? And the only thing that gives us uh, a superiority one over the other is a taqwa, which nobody can see because where is taqwa? It's inside the hearts. And here you have in the Muslim world itself. In the Muslim world. And then he says, وَلَا تَحَابُونَ عَلَىٰ طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Why should you be honored when you don't even encourage each other at all, in any way, shape or form, in feeding those who need? So first was honoring them, and then it was giving them food. Right? Allah didn't mention giving them food first. Giving the poor and needy food first. He mentioned honoring the orphan first. So first you honor and respect the needy. Because you know what we do? Here's five dollars, don't touch me. A homeless guy comes up to you, you don't honor him, you give him, but you don't honor him. Right? There's this ikram that you have to do for all human beings, especially those in need. This is part of our deen. There's no greater da'wah than this.